This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. So, having gone through and looked at valuing your equity, both ex-div and cum-div, whereby there was no growth in dividends in the last chapter, we are now going to go through there, whereby we have growth in those dividends, and that growth in dividends is a constant growth rate. In reality, your dividends will grow at different percentages each year. Okay, we just go through there, take an average growth and assume that that is the constant growth over that period of time into the future. Okay, uh, it's much more simple than having different rates of growth every single year. You wouldn't see anything like that even at this level. So what you've got, uh, you've got the formula uh, to work out the price X div. In the last video, I told you the cum div. And again, it's everything that you've seen from F1, okay? However, when you worked it in F1, you tried to work out the cost of equity and not the price, okay? Here we are working out the price. So the X div market value is D01 plus G divided by KE minus G, okay? Uh, remember, in the last video, I think we went through there, didn't we? And said that the cum div price is D01 plus K divided by KE minus G. So the, the big difference there is the fact that for the cum div, it's K, and for the X div, it's G. Okay, there we go. Happy with that? Yeah, it's not too bad, is it? Okay, so it wants us to calculate the market value per share. Uh, well, here what we have is the fact that we have just paid a dividend, so therefore the market value per share is going to be X div. Uh, you've got D0, is it there? You've got your growth, which is 4%. So remember to decimalize that at 0 0.04. And then you've got there, haven't you? KE at 15%. Okay. So what we need to go through and do there is work out P0, X div. So the dividend there is 0.3 multiplied by 1 plus G, which is 0.04, divided by KE less G. Okay. Uh, if you tap that into your calculator, you should get, is it $2.84? Okay. Uh, the way I would work it, it's difficult, isn't it, when you've got brackets, uh, I would effectively go through and do the 1 plus 0 0.04 on your calculator, multiply it by 0 0.3, divide the answer on your calculator by then opening brackets and dividing it by 0.15 less the 0.04, close the brackets and press equals. Am I really explaining how to use your calculator? If you can't use your calculator by now, how on earth have you got this far? Yeah, miracle, okay? Uh, you should be pretty happy using your calculator by now. I know you are, but let's just check. Uh, and then an example number five, uh, the last one in, in this short video. Again, it wants us to calculate the market value per share. Go on then, do it yourself, okay? See how you get on. Uh, stop the video like you did before, work it through, and hopefully you'll get to the answer. Did you stop it? I hope so, because that's twice I've given you the opportunity to do it now, okay? Uh, so we want to go through, calculate the market value per share. If you have just paid the dividend, then you are looking at, is it the X div price? And what you should have got the it equal, is it to $3.03, okay? Did you get that? Yeah, hopefully you did. You've got there your dividend, is that the of 0 0.4? So 0 0.4 multiplied by 1 plus, is it 0 0.06? Growth is 6% there. And then we've got as well KE at 20%. So it's there divided by 0 0.2 less 0 0.06. Okay. Have you got that? X. 
excellent. Okay, uh, there's a little bit of chat about what we said before in terms of the examinability, uh, in terms of the reality of the growth in dividends not being constant every single year and fluctuating, but we will keep it simple and the growth rate will be a constant. If the growth rate is different, then you literally have to discount back every single dividend each individual year, which can be quite a challenge. Okay, so have a practice at some of those questions and, and see how you get on. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video when we begin to go through that and have a look at the world of free cash flows to help us go through that and value our equity. See you then.